Hey you guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. I totally just watched the end of the uh, last episode over again, and do you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to do that thing where I accidentally steal Husky, Husky Starcraft's outro because I'm not paying attention to myself. Anyway, he's awesome. I'll probably link him in the, uh, the uh, sidebar thing if I remember to at some point. But, okay, Pokemon at this point are Ginkgo, uh, level 14, has moves that are good but used a lot of headbutts. Uh, Phantasm has moves that are good, and uh, Mikule has lots of moves that are lots of good. So, episode's gonna be boring, sorry about that in advance. I'm going into Slateport for the people who care. You can watch me explore the city and look for where exactly the Devon goods are, because I'm not even sure if I remember. But there aren't any trainers, there aren't going to be any battles, and there probably aren't going to be anything that's interesting to most of you, except for the uh, completionist types, I guess. Oh... Uh, I was never really a completionist. I w almost wish I had been, but... Okay, so this is the uh, market. It has a bunch of rare sort of niche items that... I can't really buy them, but... It, it, it has some pretty cool stuff that you can buy if you're the sort of person who is playing in a sense that you can buy. What does he sell? Um, yeah, these sort of... These increase your... Uh, these increase the... Uh, I think it's EVs. EVs or IVs? EVs. These increase the EVs of your po of your uh, Pokemon, the different stats, which uh, help them to become slightly better at those particular stats in a sort of obscure, complicated way that I don't really have time, or the uh, presence of mind, or even the depth of understanding to, to explain it. But anyway, yeah, they have some nice people that talk about nice things. Slayport really is a beautiful city. It's probably the prettiest one in the game. We love the TM Secret Power. Uh, you get that later. It's a couple of... It's definitely a couple of towns down the road. It's at least one gym, maybe two. I think it's two gyms down the road, yeah. We'll deal with that later. Nicknames. Yep, uh, traded Pokemon can't have their nicknames changed, although they can in the later games for some reason. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club. There's something in here. I don't remember if you get anything. Let's see. Uh, chairman. He's Chairman. He continues to be Chairman. He continues to be Chairman. He's likes himself really likes himself. My heart is overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah, that was a waste. Pokeblocks, they have something to do with Pokemon contests. They increase how good you are at them. It's a good idea to do that, to uh, use Pokeblocks, which again, I'll explain later when we get them. But it's usually a good idea to use uh, Pokeblocks when you want to do Pokemon. Pokemon really adores you for your most... Oh, I get a thing. Soothe Bell. What does Soothe Bell do? Okay, Soothe Bell is an item that I think, when your Pokemon is holding it, it uh, increases the rate at which the Pokemon comes to like you. Now, in most circumstances, this is not useful for anything. For Mikale, it probably won't be, but I figure I may as well give it to him. Silk Scarf, uh, Ginkgo is better off with Silk Scarf right now, because there's no real point to not use Silk Scarf, but eventually, if friendship ever matters, at least Mikale will have held the Soothe Bell for at some point of time. It's better than not holding an, an item unambiguously, even if possibly not by much. Yeah, because it, it actually matters kind of, sort of. I'm a TV reporter. So if you answer if you answer their questions, it'll eventually turn up on TV, and you can watch it, and it's kind of cool. Although it's also sort of inane. What did I first feel when I met Zigzagoon? Not a whole lot of ambiguity about this. <laughs> Does make sense. Here goes. What do Pokemon mean to you? Um, random words. Random words. Random words. Ouch! No, I'm not gonna do that. That's mean. Aww. That'll eventually turn up on TV. I'm sorry for wasting you guys' time, but I guess I assume if you're watching this episode, then you don't really care about wasting about having your time wasted. The Zoomerill of all form of the Merrills you've been seeing eventually will run into them in a combative form. They're decent enough. Okay. Nothing in the Mart. Uh, there's something here. Name Raider. He changes the names of your Pokemon. I'm not interested, so I'm not going to talk to him, but that's where you go if you want to have your name. He, do he doesn't actually rate your name. He just changes it. He, he always says it's a good name, but then whenever you change it, he always says the one you changes it to, the one that you change it to is better. I'm just bushed. I hiked over from Mauville City. That'll mean something to you sooner or later. He's talking about bikes. I talked about bikes. SS Title, that's a fairy service. 
that you will eventually learn about. Okay. I'm looking for a ship. See, I'm looking for Captain Stern, and I guess, I assume he has something to do with a ship. Man, there are a lot of people talking about underwater in this game. Uh, oh, someone's mentioning Captain Stern. Too small for him. I see. Uh, is there something up here? No, the answer to that question is no. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Other things, other things, other things. Um, I'll go back to that house. Pokemon Center. Uh, not gonna heal, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Yeah, see, that's the issue if I would just raise a Mikule. Eventually, there's a Water-type gym later on, and when you get to that Water-type gym, it is Pokemon that can beat your Fire-types, even if they're at a pretty decent level. And then, if I only have one Pokemon at a really high level, and then that Pokemon is defeated, then... GG, game over, start over from the beginning. So this is the Hall for Pokemon contest. But this is not the time to explain what a Pokemon contest is. But you will get a Poke Block from here, a Poke -block, Block case from here, which allows you to make uh, items that enhance their candy that enhance your Pokemon's ability at Pokemon contests. Yeah, you can blend berries here to make Poke Blocks if you care, and that'll enhance how good you are at Pokemon contests. Again, if you care, and also pretty cool art style. What kind of Pokemon is that? We'll see later. So if you talk to the receptionist, she'll tell you that Hyper Rank is not actually the lowest rank. It's actually the second. It's actually the uh, no, wrong. It's the uh, third to lowest rank. Yeah, it's the uh, third to lowest, second to highest rank of the uh, Pokemon contest, and so I can't actually start one right now. So I'll explain to you. I'll explain them in more detail to you, maybe, even though I don't understand them when we get to the point where I'm actually capable of starting them. Something's here. That's a lot of Team Aqua members. That is a lot of Team Aqua members. They say kind of amusing things. I think. I think that's amusing. So evidently, Team Aqua's plan has something to do with this museum of some sort. Uh, this museum. The Endless Sea Sustains All Life. Oceanic Museum. Evidently something to... I mean, it makes sense, because it has something to do with the ocean, and Team Aqua likes the ocean. I mean, hence the Aqua name and the pirate garb, but... Ah ha 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 ha. Or something... Fruits of Bountiful Harvest Gather, where market starts. Uh, let's see. This is... Yeah, this is Stern's shipyard, so it's where you... It's where I guess I assume Captain Stern is probably going to be. But I don't actually think he is. Um, is there anything of use here? Okay, so... Devon Goods, but... Yeah, so, after all this work to come out to see if this guy knows where Captain Stern is, instead I am told, I don't know where Captain Stern is. I'm gonna talk to all the people, even though I'm pretty sure they don't give me anything, just in case they do give me something, because I really I really do need to do that, otherwise I'm gonna sort of be in trouble if I have item, if I lack items that I should not lack. Is there something here? Nope, the answer is no, and I have to go around the long way, because otherwise I will be bothered about it forever. Um, more guys down there, guys who I don't think are relevant, but I'll go talk to them anyway, see if they have anything to say to me that is interesting, see if they will make me think about anything that's interesting. Conditions move. The sea is like a living thing. As you can tell, this is a very sea-themed installment to Pokemon. It gets it gets more sea-themed as we move later on in the game. As you can see, at least right now, we're still on land for the next couple of gyms, but it becomes very sea, and not ju and not just in the sense that the main evil team is very sea. Okay, something here. This guy. Yeah, see, I told you already about modest nature. In fact, it absolutely has something to do with stat gains. It has everything to do with stat gains. It has to do with how many stat points your Pokemon gain when they level up. And my modest Wingo gets a lot of uh, special attack and not a lot of attack, which, again, I guess would be good if you didn't have to partially rely on uh, wing attack for damage. But, yeah, it's still pretty good, because Water Gun's a good main move. Water Gun's a good main move, so... Anything here? Just same old, same old Lighthouse... Otherwise known as, say hi. Hi. 
Alright, this has been another installment of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. There's not a whole lot left to do in Slateport. Wait, nope, I forgot. I forgot to show you why it is that I can't go north. It has something to do with Team Aqua. I would love to be able to get out of here and to go north, but instead, there are guys blocking my way. See, this is Cycling Road, which I cannot enter until I have a bike, which I can't get at this point. Team Aqua, this is my first job. I've got the shakes. Aw, I guess. So these guys block my path until I do something, and eventually they won't be there, but for now they are there, and I can't go through Cycling Road either. But what it does look like I am capable of doing is capturing a Pokemon. Uh, I don't to think about this, but instead, let's see who I let's see what I get. All right, here's hoping for something good. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry, I've always been really partial to Gulpin as a Pokemon. I'd sort of love it to no end. Headbutt, hope it doesn't die. It's really good at making me sad about how it keeps trying to destroy me. Yawn means either freak out, because it's going to put me to sleep in a turn, so that means either this catches it now, or I sort of freak out because my Pokemon falls asleep. But you know, sleep is better than poison, which is the other status Gulpin can inflict upon you. Okay. I caught a Gulpin! I love Gulpin, they're adorable, and I've never had a chance to use one in Nuzlocke before, because I always seem to run to Zigzagoon here for some reason. Gulpin is composed almost entirely of stomach. Special enzymes that dissolve anything. What should I call this Gulpin? Something cool, a name to remember. After thought, I've decided upon the nickname of Afflin, both because I like aflatoxins and because Gulpin looks kind of pudding-y, I guess? And also because Afflin sounds more male than Afla, which is clearly female. Okay, so with that done, now I'm actually done. Now no more false starts for me, or false endings for me at any rate. Let's see how Gulpin is. Am I going to need to use a super potion on him to get him back up to a... Uh, how Afflin is. Am I going to need to, s to use a super potion on him to get back up to a... Uh, something resembling full health, or can I start training sooner than later? Okay... Aw, oh, man, I put him in all caps. That was sort of dumb. Well, that's what the name raider's for. So, I said I wasn't going to go to the name raider, but I didn't realize that I've been putting my names in, lower in part lowercase this entire time. That was sort of dumb. I feel sort of dumb today. Okay, anyways, he's the name raider. He's the fortune teller of names. Um... What if I were to suggest a slightly better name? And by him suggesting a slightly better name, what he really means is me suggesting a slightly... <laughs> sneeze! What he really means is me suggesting a slightly better name than him declaring it to be slightly better. As you can see, the option for him to suggest such a name is not even really given. Um... I have to say, it is better than before on account of it's not in all caps. That's definitely better. Definitely an improvement. Um, okay. There, that's the last false ending, I promise. Uh, let's see. How are you doing in terms of stats? So. Not great, not great. I forget what Rash does. Not great, but I'll also point out, better than Ginkos, and also knowing better moves than Ginkos. Let's see. Pound, Yawn, and Poison Gas. Uh, poison gas is sort of bad, just because 55% accuracy for poison is not great, because poison sort of a slow damager. Yawn is a fantastic, stellar move that is great. It puts the opponent into puts the opponent to sleep in two turns. This will most likely save me in some gym battle in the future. Uh, my expectation is that Afflin will get another super po will get a super potion once he comes down low enough to need one, but. He's, he's going to get a training session in a minute or two. Um, amongst the... Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give everyone some training before I go into Brawly. I want Athlon to be an active participator in that gym, because I believe him to be capable of this. 
Well, this has been another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, not stealing Husky Star Starcraft's outro because I have none of my own and just going to say bye now instead. Bye now.